the day when surf life-saving in Australia enters the jet age. Well, today we inaugurate a new branch of our organization, sponsored through the generosity of our local business community. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to the Sydney beach-going public the Helicopter Rescue Service. And, uh, and now, before I ask Mrs. Grace Ward Peterson to christen this beautiful new Bell Jet Ranger, I'd like to say a few words about the boys who'll be flying it. Protecting our coastline this summer, every weekend, and public holiday. Tread water till the party's over, huh? Uh, patient. A uh, real patient. Yeah, just, just take it easy, you know. There she blows. Hey, it is a girl. Yeah. Uh, look, I'll handle this one on my own, thanks, Phil. But how'd you know it was a girl? Right, Beth. On your way. Drifting about a mile off Baron Jerry. It's a 35 footer named Juliana out of Pitwater. You got anything in it? Nothing reported. Is she in trouble? Doesn't seem to be. Do you want me to drop in a seal? It's up to you, Buzz. You feel like any wood? No, not particularly. I'll do it. <laughs> Catch them in the act, eh? 
I don't mind. Don't make up your minds, chaps. It'll be dark soon. Now, come on, let's go home. We're on our way in, Frank. Right up, Barry. Hey, Frank. Yeah, Jimmy? Give George a call for me, will you? Tell her I'll pick her up at the hospital at around about uh, 8 o'clock. This is an official frequency, my boy, not a party line for personal calls. Yeah, just ask my sister, baby. Extension 42. If she's not there, she'll be in casualty. Thanks, Frank. Can we get this one seen to right away? Right. appear to be anything broken. Well, I'm busted inside. I can feel it. Well, where's it hurt? All over. Listen, sister, please. If you don't give me a bed for the night, these gorillas are really going to work me. Give it away, Tasker. He's an habitual, sister. Tries this song and dance every time. Still, the rules say we've got to give him a medical, okay? Well, after the doctor's examined him, we can take him up to x-ray, if you like. Look, all we need to know is whether he's fit enough to go before a magistrate in the morning. Just to keep it official. You bloody quack! You butchering Amazon! What? You call this a hospital? I'm bleeding to death! Thank you, sister. You pack of leeches! Oi! Listen, everybody! Dr. Just go home! Go home! Take two aspirin! Do you more good than this place? Oi! A bus one of your men! See how you like that! Where do you want to go? Some place quiet. What? I said some place quiet. Busy day? Usual, you know. Who was the fellow with the mouth? Don't you read the papers? Nope. Well, you should. You might learn something. Well, do you want to talk about it? Let's talk about you. How did the other thing go today? Oh, fine. Fine. Well, did you do anything exciting? Save any lives or anything? Yes, yeah, sort of. Sort of. A bird. Uh-huh. And, uh, she wasn't wearing a top. Uh-huh. Go on. Oh, that's all. That's all. Well, it was only our first day, but we'll be flat out tomorrow. Ah, uh, damsels in distress, hundreds of them, all topless. You'll see what it's like soon enough. I was only kidding. Well, it gets pretty busy in that radio room sometimes. I'm sure it does. Well, it does. Oh, look at you getting all livery. All right, I'll make a bet with you. Uh, if we don't make the news tomorrow with at least one major rescue, I'll... Uh, Will what? I'll shout you to the movies. Ah, oh, Diamond Jim. All right, I'll shout you to the movies and I'll take you to that fancy French restaurant that you're always on about. You're on. Right. Right. Right, you're going to see some action tomorrow, wise guy. How about some action tonight, wise guy? Nice enough night, Rolly. I'll be for the storm. Weather Bureau forecast mainly fine with slight seas. Ah, there's a swell on the moon. That yes, there is. You better get the lads on morning patrol tucked away at a decent hour. She's going to be busy tomorrow. I can smell it. You reckon, eh? It's going to be 100% on beach patrol. Not like you blokes lying back in your 
jet boats and your helicopters and God knows what. Well, you've got to move with the times, old chum. Well, I wouldn't put you down, lad. Just saying that she was a different kettle of fish in the days before the gadgets and the gimmicks. Give me a search fee any time. No motor. No motor, no two-way radio, just two hands to turn the paddle. Listen, Rolly, if you weren't such a relic, you'd be knocking those kids down trying to get on the chopper. Ah, you can have your gadgets. I'm just thankful that there's a few traditionalists around who remember how to work a line and reel. Beach is starting to look like Kate Kennedy. So you reckon there's going to be a wave on tomorrow then, eh? Oh! off of the tide. I well, could. Those sets out the back are already breaking 15 feet of water. It's got to be a hell of a rip in that channel to the left. Well, where'd be the best place to put the flags? Back in the shed. Now this is a direct line hook up to all the other clubs. Mm -hmm. right? You'll find the various extensions on the wall here. There's uh, Manly, Rubikuji, so forth. Right. Okay. Uh, main receiver transmitter. Do you use that type before? Let's see, power, frequency control, channel selector, volume. Yeah, I think I... What's the matter? Did you have to wear that? No, but I'd feel kind of silly sitting up here naked. Uh, you know what I mean. Hey, Jebby. Oh, uh, Phil Hardy, this is, uh, jo Georgia Beatty. Hi, Phil. Hi. Well, Georgia's gonna have a crack at being our new radio operator. Oh. Yeah. Was there something else you wanted, Phil? Huh? Oh, uh, we're ready to go. Barry told me to come and get you. Okay, I'll be right down. I'm expecting rain. Look, uh, you got this job because you've got medical experience and you know how to operate a radio. The fact that you look terrific in a bikini had absolutely nothing to do with it. Yes, sir. And by the look of the swell out there today, you're going to be busy. So if you need some help, don't be afraid to ask, OK? Yes, sir. Will that be all, sir? You're crazy. Jimmy! I've got to go. Good luck. Hey, is the uh, captain of the jump crew allowed to kiss the chief radio operator goodbye? D.Y. Tower to Surf Rescue. D.Y. Tower to Surf Rescue. Come in, please. Over. Surf Rescue? What is it, George? You're supposed to say over. Over? What's the problem? Over? 
No problem, I'm just testing. Testing, one, two, three, four. How do you read, over? We're reading your fires, George. Is that all? George? Over. Over, damn it. Affirmative, surf rescue. Over and out. Over and out. And don't forget our bet, Jebby. Oh, really? Frank says you've advised that the beach be closed. Yeah, that's right. Surf doesn't look all that dangerous from up here. It does from out there. As I could be wrong. You want to swim out and take a close look for yourself? And I'll leave that to the experts. Frank, Manley and Coca Cola are closing their beaches and they want to know what we're going to do. You'd imagine with all the sophisticated equipment we businessmen have given to the club, you'd be able to keep the beaches open to the public. Tell them we're closing, George. Right, anything else? Oh, uh, yes, miss. Uh, just call me George, one of the boys, you know. You suppose you could uh, organise a pot of tea? A glorious warm morning in Sydney, beautiful morning this morning, and this is Ronnie Sparks at 12.72 at the end of the morning. And now for a summary of surf conditions on Sydney beaches, we switch you over to Jebby Betts, speaking live from the new surf life-saving helicopter. Are you there, Jebby? Uh, we're flying at 500 feet over freshwater, and uh, from up here the waves look to be in excess of 4 metres and building steadily. Strong rips are evident at DY, which has closed its beach, uh, and have also been advised that Manly, Bondi, Curl Curl, and Coogee are closed to bathers. So if you're thinking of going for a swim today, best bet would be to stick to backyard pools and uh, harbour beaches. Board riders are advised that there's no activity yet at any of the reef breaks, and that uh, sand breaks at all the beaches are extremely treacherous. Believe me, the swell's a lot bigger than it looks from the shoreline. So remember to obey the warning signs and uh, think twice before entering the water. Thank you, Jebby Best. And now for local news and weather details, we take you to Terry Mab in the newsroom. Terry Mab, 1270, 2SM News. The week-long manhunt for Sid Tasker, who escaped prison last Saturday, ended overnight when Sydney police moved in on a North Sydney hotel. Tasker, who's serving a life sentence for murder, is regarded as extremely dangerous. A police spokesman said overnight that Tasker would appear in court this morning before being transferred back to prison. Bye-bye. Oh. Young lady, that is not a public phone, and unauthorised personnel are not allowed in here. I I'm here no, on... No, 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 out you go. If you want to use a phone, there's a public phone... I work here. I beg your pardon? I said I work here. I'm the radio operator. You? Yes. But you're a girl. Yes, that's right. Uh, we used a woman radio operator in uh, New Caledonia during the war. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Spent two years in the islands fighting with Japs. How oh, interesting. Yes, yes. Had a bit of radio experience myself. So if you run into any problems, I can probably help you out. Ta. Um, does, uh, does all this mean we'll be seeing more young ladies taking an active interest in surf life saving? I excuse me, but who are you? I'm uh, Rodney Coombs. Of Baker and Coombs, estate agents. Oh, then you're not a club member. 
Not exactly, more an honorary member. I just drop by when I can to help out. I, um, I suppose it's the club's way of showing me their appreciation. Appreciation for what? Taking her out for a bit of a run, Frank? Yeah. Need a crew? Oh, it's a bit rough out there for you today, Timmy. Next weekend, perhaps. Ah, oh, but you need a crew. Dave Junk has been rostered. Dave rang up earlier. He's working. Well, who's on reserve? Tomo. But he had to go down to Cronulla to pick up a trailer. Want to know who's on second reserve, Frank? Who? Me, Frank. I'm on second reserve. Terrific. Not a terrific ability to attack us. What? Honorific ability in our title list. It's the longest word in Shakespeare. Yeah. What's it mean? I don't know. Then why mention it? Just making conversation. Hey, look. Isn't that the boat we saw yesterday afternoon? More of a sailing man myself. Open sea, wind whistling through the rigging. Yes, yes, Sydney to Hobart, two years running. Lord Howe, all the major Blue Water classics. How nice. Well, don't let me hold you up, Mr. Coombs. Oh, that's all right. I've got plenty of time. Smith? Bill Cox. Harley Bill Cox. Armed robbery and assault with intent. Hey, haven't I seen you someplace before? Well, I'll tell you something. That's Sid Tasker. Tasker, go on. Fair Dinkum. That's Sid Tasker you're holding hands with. V. Sid Tasker? <laughs> How about that? Me sitting here handcuffed to V. Sid Tasker? Well, I'd be honored to shake your hand, Mr. Tasker. Well, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Tesco. Have another cigarette, please. No, to take the whole packet. Go on, take the whole packet. Ahoy there, is there anyone aboard? Juliana, is there anyone aboard? That's drifted about five miles since last night. Sort of broken in the morning. Surf rescue to B.Y. Town. I'll get it. That's all right, Mr. Coombs. I am an honorary member, Miss Beatty. There must be something I can do. A pot of tea would be nice. This is D.Y. Tower. Go ahead, Surf Rescue. George, we're a mile off Newport. We found a catch. It's been out here all night. Now, there doesn't appear to be anyone aboard, so I'm going in for a closer look. Well, be careful, Jebby. Right, gotcha. Now, you phone the authorities at Pitwater and find out if a 35-foot catch named Juliana has been reported either missing or overdue. Juliana. Affirmative, Surf Rescue. Out. Surf Rescue, clear. It's my turn to make a jump. You'll get your chance. Well, I found it. Weekend back in 53, we had a sea like this. A bit bigger. Pressing about 25 foot. Well, I thought I'd take the ski out for a bit of a squirt. I got out all right. Couldn't get back in. Sat a mile off North Head till after sunset, waiting for a lull. And about 10 o'clock that night, I said to myself, this is a hell of a way to spend Saturday night. So I started in through the heads. Finally made land at the spit about, oh, 4.30. Like my ski on my arm, caught the milk cart back to D.Y. Arrived at the clubhouse just in time to sit down for breakfast. Seems like some things just aren't as exciting as they used to be. Give us a hand, will you, Rolly? Wind shifting round a bit. Oh, MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm, he had a chicken, man. E -I -E -I -O with a bok bok here and a bok bok there. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Everywhere a bok bok. Nobody aboard? Okay, it's room clear and I'll pick you up.
would give him some slack, otherwise he'd be torn in two. Surf rescue to DY Tower, surf rescue to DY Tower. We have a little problem up here. George. Jebby's harness is fouled in the rigging, and his line's still connected to the aircraft. I'm going to drop Phil in to try and get him free, but I want you to tell Frank to get a jet boat out here on the double. Message understood, Surf Rescue. Out. Surf Rescue, out. DY Tower to Coombs Express. Coombs Express. Emergency, Frank. Jebby's in trouble. They're about a mile off Newport on a yacht called Juliana. That's my Barry yacht. Barry wants you out there on the double. That's my yacht. What are they doing with my yacht? parents have gone missing. But Rolly... If they so much as scratch the paintwork on that Just boat... Just for a few minutes, please. and all three of them are suspended Mr. from Coons. the plumbers. Will you please get this child an ice cream? Where the... Here and a... There. Here. There. Everywhere. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof. Here and a woof woof. There and a here and a woof. There and a woof. Everywhere. Woof woof. 93 bottles of beer on the wall. 93 bottles of beer on the wall. Take one down. Pass it around and there's 92 bottles of beer. What's the matter? Why ain't you sing it? It makes the time go faster. Right, 92 bottles of beer on the wall. Debbie! Debbie! Ha, 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 ha. 
about my yacht. You sure, Barry? Bit of a bump on the head. Phil's playing nurse. Mr. Coombs wants to know what's happening about his yacht. Cross tree snapped and nearly killed them both. What? Thanks, Barry. Over and... Oh, wait a minute. I nearly forgot. That's just great. What else have they managed to break? The state emergency service have called on our assistance. Apparently they've got a bushfire and they need help evacuating residents. Terrific. Righto, George. Out. How in the world could those cross trees... How should I know? Maybe they just fell down. Young lady, cross trees do not fall down of their own accord. I should know. I rigged them myself. Sydney Tower, this is the helicopter rescue service. You all right? Yeah. Here, I'm all right. He should add stitches. No time for that. We've got to go inland. Oh, it's no good. Helicopter rescue service requesting airways... What's that? ...to go inland. Uniform. It'd never make the news. Nobody'd believe it. I believe what? Oh, it's nothing. It's uh, just a little bet I had with Georgia. Take it easy, Captain. Yeah, Captain. <coughs> Mobile 7 will attend. Their message was fuzzy, but it appears that the owner's wife is in labor. Terrific. State emergency services report that the bushfire is now burning out of control and the traffic traveling west on the highway is now being diverted. Those reports indicate that several families have had to be evacuated from their homes. service requesting airways clearance to hospital. Hurry, please. Get around the other side. No, I'm staying here. Oh, don't be a fool. Tony. Don't worry, love. You're in good hands. Tony, I want you with me. I've got to stay. Get the stock out. Do you understand, don't you? You can't. The fire's like just go. Get out of here. Oh, Tony.
tow you in. Can't we take her back? It'll take too long to tow her back into pit water. I can't keep this boat tied up that long. Just stay there and don't touch anything. Coombs Express to DY Tower. Stand by, Frank. We've got a small crisis here. Standing by, George. Jebby. Still here. Look, how far gone is she? Pretty far, I'd say. Has her water broken? I don't know. Well, ask her. Stand by. Could you do me a favor, Mr. Coombs? Hmm? Will you ring the police and tell them that a prison van... George? I'm here. She says she doesn't think so. All right. I've alerted the hospital and we're ringing the police about the van. So drop Phil in to administer first aid, then get that woman to hospital. Will do. D.Y. Tower to Coombs Police? Express. Yes, George. About that yacht. time you tried to give mouth to mouth to a pelican. Oh, Barry. Barry! Yeah, Jeb? Got a man down here trapped under the van. You reckon the chopper can take some of the weight? Oh, I'll give it a go. Hey, Phil, rig up the heavy line. Just hold on and I'll be out of here in a minute. <laughs> Nothing to lose, Birdman. Calm down, ladies, sing this song. Do da, do da. Calm down, race track, five miles long. Whoa, do da, do. Surf rescue to DY Tower. Emergency, emergency. DY Tower, yes, Barry. George, what do you know about delivering babies? Rowley, you must have some push around here. I've got a $50,000 yacht adrift out there and nobody seems to realize... Oh! Beg your pardon? He's bringing it in over the sandbar. Uh, anyhow, about the yacht, I reckon if you... Over! Get in the channel!
finished. Yeah, it'll do for now. All right, on your feet. I said on your bloody feet. But I can't. You can and will. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Look, he can't walk. Shut up, bird man. I don't think I can stand, let alone walk. You'll get off your backside, you'll put one foot in front of the other, and you'll follow me out of here, or so help me. Now listen, because I'm only going to say this once. Yeah. I'll cut your hand off at the wrist. As for you, Birdman, you can live or die. It doesn't matter to me. Which is it? I'll live, thanks. All right. Help me get this crybaby on his feet. <laughs> we go this way. Listen it. The wind's pushing the fire from the west. We'd better going north. Run onto the highway and the cops. I'm not as stupid as I look, Bird Man. We go this way. <laughs> possibly happen today to beat that. Now, I've picked up a gremlin. Look there, 1200. Zero, zero. It's moving directly into controlled space. What the bloody hell is that? Calm down, ladies, sing this song. Do da, do da. Calm down, race track five miles long. Whoa, do da, day. <laughs> Calm down, ladies, sing this song. Do da, do da. Calm down, race track five miles long. Whoa, do da, day. <laughs> Hello, Roger, Mayday, Mayday. D.Y. Tata, Surf Rescue. Surf Rescue? The hospital rang to say mother and child are doing very well. How's Phil? Uh, a little shaky. Anybody out there hear me? Can I have your position, Barry? Hello? We're just heading inland to pick up Jimmy. What about me? We're going to need you back here on the double. Timmy and Frank flipped the jet boat and Timmy's still missing. Mr. Coombs, Timmy wasn't with me. He stayed behind on the yacht. Frank, are you sure? I was alone in the boat. Timmy's quite safe. Will you please signal Rolly to come in before he kills himself? Hey, Rolly! Come back! Rolly! Rolly! Come back! Hey, Rolly! Come back! Rolly! We don't stop! We're going to be dragging a corpse around. Keep moving. We're heading right into the path of the fire. But this rig will never outrun us. Ah! 
stop pleading this task. I can't stop. We've just cut you loose, and you can rest as long as you like. <laughs> See what a brave little soldier our Mr. Bill Cox can be when he makes the effort. Well, why don't you put the gun down, eh? We'll find out who's carrying the most guts. Oh, big words to a man who's only got one useful arm. What's your name? I said, what's your name? Jebby. Jebby. What sort of name is that? <laughs> well, Mr. Jebby and Mr. Bill Cox, if you don't mind, I think we should grit our teeth and continue. Don't you? Jebby. <laughs> Bird man! Go ahead, George. Kimmy's safe. He's still on board Mr. Coombs' yacht, so your assistance isn't required. You'd better go inland and pick up Jebby. We're on our way, George. What's going on? Sydney Tower, this is the helicopter rescue service. Helicopter rescue service, stand by. Helicopter rescue service, this is Sydney Tower. Helicopter rescue service, go ahead. Is that you, Barry? Yes, sir. Well, what's going on? We've got a gremlin smack in the middle of an approach part of 1200 over Waterloo. What is your position, please? Uh, just passing over Middle Harbour at Clontarf. You want us to move in for a closer look? Affirmative, Barry. Priority clearance, approach and identify. I am the conscience of the cosmos, the favoured son of Mother Nature. <laughs> What's he doing? I think he's trying to shoot us down. Sydney Tower, this is the helicopter rescue service. Go ahead, helicopter rescue service. We found your gremlin, some lunatic in a hang glider, traveling south at about 10 knots. We'll see if you can get him to hell out of there. He's blocking off our main approach path. Sinners! Capital of scum! Enemies of the stratosphere! Repent! The Grand Duda ordains that you repent or be zapped! He's crazy, yelling at the ground and shaking his fist. We're all crazy, Phil. Not that crazy. Look at him. <laughs> I'd really like to know what he's saying. Hey, senor! Do you know the way to San Jose? <laughs> <laughs> Attention! Attention! You're obstructing controlled airspace. Land immediately. I repeat, land immediately. <laughs> You're obstructing controlled airspace. You are in serious breach of DOT regulations. Land immediately. After DOT! Give the stratosphere back to the people! <laughs> what have you been smoking, man? He's what? I could be wrong, sir, but it looks as if he's lining up an approach to the air. Man! There's a cut snake, sir. We can't get much closer without blowing to How far off is he? About four miles. You should be able to pick him up visually in about five minutes. You can't afford five minutes. It's like pit That's speed up there already. Turn right. Two, zero, zero. Five, two, three, They're all right. Thousand. Stick with him and keep your frequency open. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
fly out of here, Tasker. If you radio the chopper, we'll be out of here in five minutes. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Oh, come on. Even prison's got to be better than this, mate. Give us the radio. Tasker! Let's go. He's had it. You'll have to carry him, then. Come on. Water. Food. Water. <coughs> Dying. Strapped like a rat. <sighs> Gotta get help. Gotta get food. Gotta. Oh, gotta. to surf rescue come in please this is urgent dy tower to surf rescue i can't reach them they're not answering uh, well at least he died the way he lived nonsense jebby says there's not a man in the club as experienced as roly He's not as young as he used to be, Miss Beatty, and he's been out there for over an hour. But that doesn't mean he's... We found part of his ski. D.Y. Tower to Surf Rescue, come in, please. Where the hell are they? over an hour. We need you back here. Yeah, what about Jebby? I thought you went to pick him up. We got sidetracked. Don't worry, but he'll be all right. <laughs> We're trapped, Tasker. Why don't you give it away? God, I help! Hey, hell's coming to us, mate. Five more minutes and you're gonna fry. And we'll fry together, bird man. Right, thank you. D.Y. Tower to Surf Rescue. Come in, please. A surf Rescue. Uh, go ahead, D.Y. What is your position, please? We're just on our way back to look for Raleigh. Phil, I've just had a call from the police. They say that Jebby and two prisoners are missing from the scene of that crashed van. What about Raleigh? Any sign of him? No, not yet. What do you want us to do, George? Look for Raleigh or head inland? 
I don't know, Phil. What do you think? It's your decision. You better go after Jebby. We're on our way. And Phil, the police say one of the prisoners could be armed and dangerous. Always works in the movies. <laughs> No word? What about... Really? Not a trace. Some of the boys are out there, still looking, but... Jebby will be all right. Take more than some two bob crim to slow Jebby down. Look, they're probably on their way back right now. Select P soup. Break out the oxygen. I'm all right. Neither one of us is going to be all right unless we start breathing something but smoke. Get the oxygen. <coughs> right, take a good deep hit. Tasker. Shut up. The chopper's up there. I heard it. We can get out of this mess. All you gotta do I is say turn that. Shut up! Get going. Be reasonable. <coughs> Go ahead. How far do you think you're gonna get without me? I said get going. You get going. <laughs> This end, Jeb. I'm coming down to 50 feet. 50 feet? We're sitting on the treetops now. Just watch our appearance on your side. Well, how close is two close? A couple of feet. By the sound of it, you're right over the top of it. Can you see the guards yet? Still looking. Ah, oh, can you hurry?
Thank you. Yeah, Tasker. There's something I've been dying to ask you. What's that? Well, you know when you took the revolver from the cop back there? Why didn't you take the keys to the handcuffs? so cheerful about Didn't you tell him? Tell me what? It's about Rolly, Jeb. Rolly? What about Rolly? Uh, he flipped the jet boat in the surf. Rolly paddled out on his ski. He thought young Timmy Lynch was with me. And... Uh... It's been over four hours. Some of the boys are still out searching, but there's not much hope of finding him alive. They haven't found his body? No. Well, he's not dead yet. Not officially. Yeah, well, it just doesn't look that good, Jeb. Come on, Frank. What do you mean it doesn't look good? What about the time he was out there all night? Huh? Yeah, and what about my boat? What? Oh, no. What's the matter, George? Timmy Lynch, in the confusion, I completely forgot about him. He's still out on Mr. Coombs' yacht waiting for a towboat. Yeah, and what about my yacht? Well, I suppose we should go and get it. Oh, I'm sorry. You're sorry? That yacht cost me $50,000. Let's go, Jeb. See. But what about my yacht? Doesn't anybody care? Is it too much to ask somebody to take a boat out there and tow it back? You seem to forget that through my donations... Hey, Mr. Combs, question, please. How did your yacht happen to be there in the first place? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps somebody tried to pinch it. Or perhaps it wasn't moored correctly. Oh, rubbish. I tied the moorings myself. Just like you rigged the mast? Yeah. Rescue to Juliana. Timmy? Timmy's here, I found him. Who's that? Me, Rowley. <laughs> Where the hell have you been, you old dog? Oh, I lost me damn ski and got picked up by a rip. Took me out a couple of miles, so I thought I'd give Timmy a hand while I was in the area. Hey, is there a beer on at the club tonight? Oh, there might be a drop going. Hey, do you need a hand down there? No, we'll be right. Who's that? Georgia Beatty. What do you want? Just to say we're glad you're all right and we'll see you when you get back. I wonder what all the fuss was about. at Sydney Airport were brought to a standstill this afternoon when a youth flying a hang glider obstructed controlled airspace for nearly half an hour. Remanded for custody, the youth, who gave his name as Captain Duda, claimed that the stunt was a statement on free expression and a protest against stratospheric violation by commercial aircraft. Elsewhere in the news, Come on, don't we murderer, get a Tasker was again recaptured today following a daredevil escape from a prison van. A police spokesman says that Tasker's apprehension was hindered by bushfires, but the Tasker is now behind bars again. What about us? Prison in the morning. It was bad luck for Sydney beachgoers today as the coast was hit by large swells in the wake of Cyclone Eddie. The Weather Bureau, however, says that the swell is now subsiding and things should be back to normal by tomorrow. And now, on a lighter note, crowds at DY yesterday were treated to quite a spectacle when members of the new helicopter rescue service <laughs> girl That's that. and dropped her safely, but stranded among the holiday crowd ashore. Yeah, I wonder the the uh -oh, I wonder Association bit. refused to comment on the incident, except to say that the three-man helicopter crew had their hands full all weekend.